Today I am going to explore how can I use LiDAR scanner in my new iPhone 13 Pro Max for uh, city maintenance purposes. I will use a scanning app and FME, FME Cloud, FME Data Express and FME AR, an augmented reality app. First, we will scan this area and later we will run some analysis on it. You can find a lot of LiDAR scanning apps in the App Store. I use Scanniverse. It's a free app and I really like the range of formats that it supports, the expert formats, including georeferenced glass. You can see how the scanning process works in Scanniverse. At first, we have this red and white pattern, which disappears once the data is collected for that particular part of the scene. Once I collected the, everything in my area of interest, I can stop scanning and check the results. So I process them, get a mesh, which I then can export to a few interesting formats, such as FBX, or in this case, I will export it to a georeferenced glass. So I just save it to my device, to my iPhone. And now we would like, well, to run some analysis on it. So I will run FME Data Express and I have a process in the cloud which knows what to do with this last file. I submit my location here at the end of this roundabout. And I select the last file that, that we just created with Scanniverse. So it goes to the cloud. You can see I just sped it up a little bit. So something is happening. I will explain what is going on in the cloud at the end of this video, but back I receive an augmented reality model. The GPS sensors in phones are not that great. They're not professional devices. So I need to adjust the location of my model a little bit on the screen with my fingers. So here I make sure that it sits correctly. And now I can explore this model and I can see right away that right here, so this dark spot, a remnant of a puddle, is a small depression. This means that we always will have a puddle here because that particular part is below the surface around it. So it's not a big deal for this particular situation, but for bigger areas, uh, it might be a, a big problem. As you can see, I turned my phone for a landscape orientation and we can have a closer look. Obviously, I picked not the best color for labels on my contour lines. Probably if I would just keep them yellow, you would see clearer. But you can see it's at least two centimeters below the, the center of the depression than the surrounding area. Here is my workspace that lives in the cloud and it knows what to do when a point cloud from my phone arrives to FME cloud. So it knows how to process it and how to create that augmented reality model for me. Now I'm going to zoom in and explain what the key part of this workspace do. So first I receive my point cloud and bring it into the workflow with feature reader. Then in here, I filter um, some points that not necessarily the part of the scene, for example, my feet uh, or my legs. Uh, and then I create DEM, uh, a raster DEM from the point cloud. It just allows creating less noisy output. And then I create, create uh, generate contours uh, based on that DEM model. Then I slightly generalize lines, just make them look smooth. And then turn the lines into meshes. That's what Augmented Reality Writer needs. I also create labels in here. And then just send everything to the writer, to the AR writer, which goes to my phone. And that's what you already saw before. And this is it. Thanks for watching.